Greetings everyone, my name is Sean Galloway. I'm the president of ProAct Safety and the host of Safety Culture Excellence. If you're not familiar with Safety Culture Excellence, it's a free weekly podcast that we started back in January of 2008. I have a strong belief based on my experience working at hundreds of sites around the world that to achieve a level of excellence in any operational category, whether it be safety, quality, operations, there really has to be the internal passion. This internal passion is so critical because if you think about it, we build these foundations of excellence. We build these foundations of values and priorities. But we build these foundations in safety, for example, that are always under pressure of hyper-competitive priorities. Things that are challenging the priority and better yet, the value of safety. So I believe it's truly that internal passion that keeps this foundation from crumbling. So that's why we started Safety Culture Excellence. Because excellence doesn't come in a box. It's not something somebody can sell you or implement for you, turn on the key and hand you that set of keys and walk away. It's something that has to be a living and breathing thing, a living and breathing thing at all levels of the organization. It's sad when I go to organizations and we're assessing their culture and we ask them to show us what their safety program looks like and they say, oh, it's this box on the shelf here. Again, excellence in safety, just like excellence in quality, is a living and breathing thing. That's why we started these podcasts, is to help you identify the things internally within your culture that both positively and negatively impact operations, specifically safety. But a lot of these techniques, a lot of these methodologies and ideas and principles can be applied to multiple areas of operation. But we started these back two years ago, and we've provided them weekly for you, and we'd like to start something new. We'd like to start providing you videos to where you can use these videos to spark ideas in a lot of your safety meetings or even for your own internal personal growth. We are very fortunate to have thousands of subscribers all around the world that use these for their own personal growth and for their safety committees and safety meetings. But we wanted to provide something that's a little bit more action oriented and a little bit shorter. A lot of these podcasts, well over a hundred of them now, range anywhere from 5 to even 45 minutes. But we wanted to provide you something that you could show in your safety meetings, and in your safety committee, uh, the discussions that you have, toolbox topics, shift huddles, to where you could spark some ideas to get people thinking about what they can do to help us improve in safety. Providing an injury-free, a safe environment is something that's managed falls on management's responsibility but what they're responsible for is providing an environment that doesn't create safety barriers or doesn't create safe safe hazards it's management's responsibility to create a safe environment but it's truly your responsibility to look out for yourself that's why we wanted to provide these topics these videos and these podcasts to help spark some internal debate about what we can do to help minimize our own exposure to risk if you really think about it, in safety, there's nothing we can do, even with the technology we have available to us today, to completely eliminate all of the hazards out of an industrial setting. So we have to look at it and say, what can we also do to minimize our own exposure to risk? And throughout the developed world, the developed countries, you're much more likely to experience a disabling injury off the job than you are on the job. And if you think about it, the people that you work with, if they're injured at home, they're just as absent as if they're injured at work. So think about it. If you only have time to focus on communicating and, and help reinforcing one thing in safety, what would it be? How would it help people minimize their own exposure to the inevitable risk that we're, that we're faced with throughout every single day? So if you only have time for one thing, think about it this. Think about it as I close out this video podcast. If you only have time to focus on one thing in safety, what would it be and how will it help create a safer world for us all? Thank you so much for all that you do for helping us be a safer community. Have a great week.